Previously on Scandal Press. Your husband, my on again, off again lover, told me I could stay here as long as I wanted. Oh, Desiree, you poor drunken slut. <laughs> He was not in his right mind, darling. And I have to tell you, today is your last day in the guest house. You are no longer welcome in Scandal Crest. <laughs> <laughs> While you were away at boarding school, I had sex with your best friend, Alice. And I'm pregnant with this baby. <laughs> oh, Desiree. Beautiful, poor, drunken slut. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> no idea. You have no idea the shit that I'm gonna do to you. Yeah, it's on. It's on like Donkey Kong. <laughs> I just got married, and she's a great girl. <laughs> and uh, the best part, while I was in the Sterling offices, I found a copy of Vincent Sterling's last will and testament. Shut your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Now listen here, I might be a drunken slut, but there's one thing I know. You cannot be in love with my son, Romeo, because his father is your father. <laughs> Scandal Crest. suspicion that he is meddling with the company funds. Really? Yes. Mm -hmm. And I wondered how loyal you were to him. Well, I mean, he is the uh, second largest shareholder in your company. You know, he, he has a right to know what's going on. Yes, but I'm the first. <coughs> I thought perhaps, Sal, that you and I could do a little business together. How does that sound? Well, that's, uh, you're getting warmer. <laughs> so am I. Oh, I know. Your last name's Linguini, isn't it? That's right. Well, you're very oh. edible. <laughs> I, uh, 
I see where you're coming from. What did you, uh, what did you have in mind? Well, I'd like to tell you, but I'm afraid the office might be bugged. So I thought, perhaps, Sal, we could go to the stable and maybe take a little ride. Hmm, <coughs> I do like a, uh, a hearty thoroughbred. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll take a gallop, shall we? I think we shall. <laughs> oh, Mr. Linguini. Oh, <laughs> Miss Sylvia! <laughs> I like it. for us. I figured we could go on a date. Mm -hmm. You know, I could take you to that restaurant you wanted to go to. Mm -hmm. And we can really just, you know, start over. Clean mm -hmm. slate. Because I know we've had some problems. Clean slate. Clean slate. With Clean slate. no physical contact. Except for maybe a hug. When something good happens. No. <laughs> that kind of defeats the purpose. Because I think we should take our relationship to the next level. Because you know that I'm sorry. When you were gone, Alice, you know, it just happens. I was young, I was immature. But I'm ready for something serious. As friends? No, to be the guy who takes your virginity. <laughs> <laughs> I have everything planned out. We can go to dinner, we can maybe go dancing later, and then come back to your place, and it'll be special. I... Just me and you. And it doesn't matter that I got another woman pregnant, you know. I have like six months before I'm a father. That's very important. No, she's two, three months she's along. She's three months pregnant. Already. Yeah. Already. That's okay. Yeah, she, it grows faster in her because she's a little crazy. <laughs> so six whole months. Just think of what we could do in six whole months. Six. I could take you on that vacation. We could watch television on the couch apart. Um, uh, we could, um, sleep in separate beds and not touch as much. I don't understand why you're being so distant with I me right now. Um, why are you being, are, are you not attracted to me anymore? I am, which makes shirt? this hard. Uh, it is not the purple, it, it, it's not the purple shirt. Um, okay, I don't, I don't, um, <laughs> do you know who your dad is? <laughs> I'm trying to be romantic, and you're bringing up these. People. I know the issues, but do you know who your dad is? I don't know who my dad is. That has nothing to do with how I love you right, right. now. But you're the most beautiful thing I've it. ever okay. seen, and I want to be naked with you. I want to make a baby with you. I think we'd make the most beautiful child in the world. <laughs> okay, um, less of that. Oh. <laughs> So much less of that. Um, <laughs> okay. Uh, let's first get, maybe get off my bed. You just set me down here. I think you're, you're giving me, you're giving me I'm, I'm over here. I, <laughs> come here. I've practiced this. Let me grab the pillow. Let, okay, no. Uh, <laughs> just sit back down. Just you're acting it. very weird. I know. Can you please just tell me what's on your mind. I am. <clears throat> from the same womb as you. <laughs> Are you saying we're twins? That's cute, we think alike. That means we should be together. Come here, come to I, the seat. Less touching. I, um, we have the same father. So, I'm, I'm your sister. 
master. I'm in a very 
uncomfortable place, so let's just do it. Don't stand up too high or I'll show my whole ass to anyone who may or may not be watching. <laughs> There's something I have to tell you. And, uh, <laughs> the woman that I've been in love with. Me, probably. I know last week you said, and by last week I mean every day, you said that it was Ophelia, but you probably meant me, so I get it. It's me. Cool. Well, the process of elimination has made it you because Ophelia is my sister. I know, that's so gross. I dry heaved when I heard that news. But then you I laughed really, really hard because I think it's hilarious. <laughs> but then I actually threw up into a cup. It wasn't that much. <laughs> you knew this. <laughs> You knew this entire time that she was my sister, and because of a practical joke, you let it go on. Whoa, you say this entire time like it means years. I've known for a short period of time, but yes, I held it from you. See, how could I want to... I want to be with you. I want to be able to raise this baby. You look a lot less pregnant than three months, but... <laughs> Thank you. Listen. But I do look a little pregnant. You do look a Aww. little pregnant. It's, it's very <laughs> cute. Yeah. Oh, you. See, these are the good times that I wish we could rekindle and, and be together again. And it's not because Ophelia's out of the picture. I've, I've always loved you. <laughs> it's funny because you said, by the woman I love, meaning Ophelia, and then you said, by process of elimination, because I can't love her, I love you. But it sounds like you mean it. No. <laughs> you, you got me all wrong. I, I love her. But I love her unconditionally because she's my sister. You I love because you're sexy and smart and you're carrying my child. Ooh. And listen, I think that it'd be best for the baby <laughs> if we were together. We could raise him. Or her. It's gonna be a boy. Okay. Let's not start fighting already. This whole thing's gonna go right down the fucking shit shoot, you know what I'm saying? About the fucking shit shoot. This thing's already down there because I'm not about to hook up with a guy who's attracted to his sister. So it's over between us before it ever restarted after you broke up with me and then told me you loved me the whole time. It's over. I'm going solo, bruh. <laughs> well, no. I'll leave a guy waiting. I don't, I don't know, just... <laughs> you remember what we did? You remember? Yeah, now? I do. <laughs> Desiree is getting all the money from the will. 
This right. we know because uh, <laughs> well, I'm the one that got you that will, right? That's right. So don't forget. You, don't you do, forget. You do great work. How could I ever I forget? I do. And guess what I just did, my friend? I just proposed to Desiree. You proposed? Will you marry me? To Desiree? Exactly. Did she say yes? She's thinking about it. She will. She, she, she's not sure, but she's going to go over there tonight. Try to, you know what I mean? Seal the deal. Seal the deal. Uh -huh. And uh, what? What is it? Like a month? Then, divorce. Huh? Mm -hmm. Take up for half of what she had. Uh -huh. She'll still be, and I don't even feel bad about it, because she's so poor that if she gets becomes rich and I take half, she still had more than what she had before. <laughs> you, you see what I'm saying? And in a way, I'm doing her a favor, because what's she going to do with all that money? She doesn't know how to manage it. You know, poor people, they get money, they lose it. You know, the baseball players and the, you know, like, so what I'm doing is saying, you know what? Take half the money and learn how to use that. You, you see sound like, uh, you sound like somebody in the debate. <laughs> well, I'm trying to convince you, Sal, is what's yeah. happening here. Yeah, yeah, I, I get it. Uh, it's you a, see, it's a complex plan, but if I follow correctly, you marry her. Marry her. She gets the inheritance from the Sterlings. Yes. Then you divorce her, and you get half. Half. Uh huh. Like I'm um, foo -foo. Uh -huh. Half. <laughs> if you had a conscience, you'd be dangerous. But uh, <laughs> I got one more idea for you, friend. Something. Something better than half. I, I, I figure half is. Why would you settle for half? You see. Uh, well, because when you when you break up with someone, you get half, Sal. I mean, I don't. You know. <laughs> uh, yes, my friend. Unless that someone is dead. Ignite. You like that? You like when I sing to you, don't you, baby? Yeah. You know what I'm doing right now? Touching my leg. <laughs> Touching my chicken leg. But I'm going downtown a little further. <laughs> I miss you so much. I'm going to do some shit to you. You have no idea what I'm going to do you next time I see you. <laughs> you just completed me. You've made my life so interesting and just fulfilled. Oh, what's that? Oh, baby. Baby, I miss you too. I really do. I'm gonna nail you next time I see you. <laughs> no, the company's doing good. It's doing good. Everything's everything's great. There's no no drama or anything going on around this town. No, still <laughs> I gotta call you back, baby. But um, tell you what, you think about my tally whacker when you go to sleep tonight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you think about it. It's gonna rise to the occasion right up in your gully. <laughs> I love you, baby. You mean everything to me. You're the best woman I know. All right. My sister's here. I gotta go. All right. What the fuck is wrong with you? Why are you... <laughs> Ophelia, what's wrong, baby? Sit down. Tell your big brother what's going on, man. You look terrible. <laughs> what's a tallywhacker? <laughs> Tallywhacker is a big penis. <laughs> Honey, do you, you, you know what but a penis is? But why are you going to put your tallywhacker in there? Well, when... I keep forgetting. How old are you? How old are you? I'm 24. You're 24 and you don't know? What it, I'm almost 25. I know. And you got a birthday coming up. I got your card. It's going to be, it's a really nice card. Hopefully it's more than a card. Yeah, well, I'm going to do Cheap you, best. I'm going to give you a little bit of that. Um, uh, shit, I was crying. I forgot about that. I know, I know. Anyway, anyway, tallywhacker is the penis that you put in the vagina when you have sex. <laughs> have you had sex yet? <laughs> yeah. I'm... Yeah. I'm having the sex all the time with tons of men and women. <laughs> you go both, you do it. You, yeah, absolutely, yes. No all shit. The, all the time. Just, I'm really I surprised to hear that. Backer. I mean, we're a conservative all family. The, <laughs> the Sterling family is very conservative. We don't usually do shit like that. Big tally whackers. <laughs> Your eye makeup looks horrible. Is that Maybelline's? 
<laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Years. I know, it's been a long, long time. I know it is. You know, our company's doing great, by the way. Is it? Everything's what do you great? Just run it by me. What well, do you do? here's the deal, Steve. Again. You, know, you know I've always run the company, you know, yes. tight shit, but I've recently fallen in love. That's who I was talking about with the whole tallywhacker thing and the... That's when you're in love, that's what you do, baby. Is it with that guy that's always at our house? <laughs> you mean the guy that mows the lawn in the little tight coat shorts? Yeah. <gasps> No, my, my brother is secretly attracted to him. He's gay. Oh, see, I never knew which one of you was gay, but I always thought it was you. <laughs> <laughs> and he, look at that. Vase. <clears throat> that vase? It's gay. I got that at Pottery Barn. <laughs> it's cool. It's, it's, it's interesting because it kind of says, you know... I'm a tallywhacker. <laughs> Oh, you're, you're, because it has long sticks in it, you think that's a tallywhacker reference. Well, like... You can't pull it out. It's a pottery barn. Shit, if you break it, I can't return it. <laughs> kind of like... Kind of like... Uh, kind of like that. No. It's more like that. <laughs> anyway, tell me what's going on in your life. Tell me what's going on. I want to know. You can have, I don't even know what's You going obviously on. haven't had sex yet, so tell your big brother. That's do you have any crushes? Do you have any like you know, I'm potential? in love with my brother. <laughs> what are you talking? What, what? Oh no no, not you. Pierce? Not him. You're either. in love with me? You. You're not. You, we love each other like brothers and sisters. Right, right? in an appropriate. Way. That would be weird. Right, of course. No, not you. Um, another. <laughs> 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 what do you mean, brother? Who are you talking about? The guy in the tight shorts. The lawnmower guy? Yeah, the one that Pierce wants oh. to play. With his talent. No, 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 no. No. <laughs> Tally, yeah, he has a tallywhacker. We all, all boys have tallywhackers. <laughs> Every single one of them. Unless they've done some weird shit, you know, in Beverly Hills. But, I have some good news for you. He's not your brother. You see, mom was a whore. <laughs> a what? A whore. That's someone that has seen a lot of tallywhackers. <laughs> right. That's, one was enough. Thanks, Mom used to see a lot of men. And at the time that you were born, she was with a man named Paco. Paco used to do the very same thing that Romeo used to do. Mow our lawn. He was a great guy. I, I got to know him very well. But the point of this ridiculous story... <laughs> is that you don't have to worry about Romeo anymore. Because it's okay to have sex with your brother. You kind of missed the point. <laughs> Paco the gardener is your real father. And therefore, it's okay to suck Romeo's tallywhacker. <laughs> Start over. Maybe we can move in together. And Take it slow. Move in together. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> I just think that just because we're not, we can work on our love, but that doesn't mean that we can't have sex. All right, you got me. Right? You're right. I actually heard that if, if you have sex with a pregnant woman, it makes the child more likely to succeed. <laughs> I heard that if your relationship is broken, you should get pregnant, and that'll fix your relationship. <laughs> See, we both have horrible ideas. We should be together. Just give me another chance. Think of all the fun times we had that weekend. 
That was a pretty good weekend. Wasn't it? I was so sore. <laughs> <laughs> Meaning from sex, because we had a lot of sex. Yeah, no, no, I, 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 I just, I, I want to be a father in this baby's life. I don't want him to grow up with just you, because you're... Crazy. You're crazy, yeah, yeah. <laughs> And that's how honest we are with each other. Me too. I'll think about it. Realistically speaking, I'm 100% yes, but that doesn't mean I'm not going to fuck anyone else. Uh, <laughs> right. Later! Hey, wait, 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 where are you going? Hey, hey! <laughs> Romeo, darling. I couldn't uh, help but overhear your conversation with dear Alice. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of that that goes around in Scandal oh, Press. Honey. Are you having trouble with your sex life? Not my sex life. Your love life. Yes. <laughs> yes. Well, you just you can't seem to get a woman to stay with you. Even that poor pregnant girl. I don't know what it is. I think I'm maybe like too aggressive, but then I kind of like play it cool. Are and then sure I go you, in again. Do you like women? I love women. You know, their smell, their, their touch, mm. their sense of humor. I think you give off the wrong signal, though, wearing those shorts when you mow the lawn. Well, the thing about that is uh, your son, no disrespect, is uh. the one who makes me wear those, so. <laughs> oh, well, he's always just a joker. He is a joker. Well, can I give you a little advice? Absolutely. I'll take anything at this point. Don't give up. <laughs> I'm here to tell you that... Uh, even as you get older, <laughs> you can still enjoy yourself. <laughs> really? Okay. Yes. I mean, the, uh, the car may be old, but the motor under the hood is still running. <laughs> wow, this got real uncomfortable. <laughs> well, I can't tell everyone. And I don't know, I thought we'd have a little heart to heart, since, since apparently you're not going to be seeing Ophelia any longer. Unfortunately, yeah, there's, uh, I didn't know that we had the same father. Ah, oh, well, that was a secret, but I must say I would have had to break the news to you myself. I feel like everybody <laughs> knew, but they weren't telling me. That's exactly right. And it exactly makes them right. more sick than I am. <laughs> <laughs> well, I wouldn't call it sick, I would just call it, you know, we just never dreamed that you, a lowly gardener, would meet my daughter, who's a sterling princess. And your mother is a, is a drunken slut. You don't have to talk about it that way, because I love her. She's going through some stuff, but she's been working on it. Uh-huh. Well, Romeo, you know I've asked your mother to leave, and I'm afraid that goes for you, too. But I just wonder, perhaps you'll have better luck where you're going. What do you mean, where I'm going? I've uncovered some evidence against you, and I'm afraid as opposed to the little house, you might be going to the big house. <laughs> Thank you so much for this. You're very welcome. So, That's not the, the normal tally web. <laughs> okay, because it says Dodgers. Then that was just gonna get weird. Why? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I feel sad that you're 24 and you haven't experienced sex yet. I told you I've had lots of sex. I don't think you have, if you think that's what a tallywhacker looks like. First of all, if you keep calling it a tallywhacker... Excuse me? Hi, Mom! What are you talking about tallywhackers? <laughs> this one. Am I right? <laughs> Did you learn that at boarding school in Switzerland? No. And you're drinking a martini. Pardon me, that's not going to happen. <laughs> ah, she she, she yeah. came in with it, Mom. I have no idea why she had it or how she had it. Oh, my God. <laughs> this is real. <laughs> <laughs> Get, Mom. Uh, well, anyway, darling, I've heard from your 
headmistress in Switzerland, and she was very disappointed, as am I, in your conduct while you were there at boarding school. Apparently you were sneaking out, you were smoking cigarettes, you were, you were wearing thong underwear. Uh, I don't know what to do other than take away your allowance. Wait, first of all. Ah, yes. Am I right? I don't know yet. Okay, she is wrong, because I wasn't smoking cigarettes. Yes. It was weed. <laughs> What's weed? Weed yeah. is an organic substance that opens up your mind to new ideas. <laughs> well, that sounds kind of interesting. Are they just do that in Switzerland? <laughs> no, all over the place, here in California. Oh, well, it might mix well with this. <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> I have no, no other choice but to ground you and to take away your allowance and to, and to keep you away from him because he is a bad influence, giving you these and talking about tallywhackers and, and I don't know what all, and I'm going to get you some other kind of undergarments. He also did another thing I wanted to ask you about. Was oh, this where you throw me under the bus, sis? He went like that a lot. <laughs> but he was Son. referring to Somebody needs to teach her about sex now that dad is gone. Well, she is not old enough. When you're old enough, when you're 30, I will tell you. 30? Uh -huh. How old are you? How old are you? I've forgotten. <laughs> That's probably possible. Excuse me. Oh, that's right. You're slutty. I am not a slutty. Ophelia! What did you tell her? That's enough. Mother, we live in a world where the truth is rare. I felt Ophelia was old enough to learn about tallywhackers and your past. <laughs> God, Lance, how dare you? He's you my God, too. Oh. <laughs> Ophelia, I, it's, I Go have to. Go to room. Take this call. Mm. Business. <laughs> Thank These you. These people for that. just keep calling me all the. I'm no, 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 darling. No, 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 darling. No, Mother, give her the drink. Good luck, Lance. I don't know how to shut that. <laughs> Is it a real phone? <laughs> You're 41. I'm 41, Mother. You don't look it. You look good. <laughs> You're real built up. That's nice. <clears throat> now, I'd like to talk to you about your father. I would love to talk about father. All right. Let's have it. Have you seen father's will, mother? Why? Z. <laughs> what? You said why. I said Z. <laughs> Give me that. No. I think you've had too much. All right, Z. Why did Father leave everything to the poor people? What poor people? Those piece of shit Jonas people. Not the Jonas brothers, the Joneses. Well, that's just not possible. Really? You saw the will? Your mother. Oh, my God. Well, the will's around here somewhere. Ah, it was, well, it in, was there. in there, and I'm sure if I could read it, it would say that. Pierce that and I simple. read the will. It said that Father left everything to the Joneses family. Oh, God, that tramp. Oh, even from the grave, your father ruins me. I thought you loved him. I did love him. I did love him, especially when he left everything to me. <laughs> but, uh, are you sure of this? As sure as a heart attack, Mother. But a heart attack isn't what killed Dad. He went off a cliff yes. in his favorite automobile. Yes, he did. From brake failure. Uh -huh. <clears throat> well, <clears throat> I think that perhaps we should come up with a little plan. And perhaps we should um, just 
remove Desiree from the picture. What would that help, Mother? Well, if she weren't here, then perhaps uh, we could collect all the inheritance because uh, I am his wife and I would be next of kin. Well, if Desiree was dead, that would be quite a tragedy, <coughs> wouldn't it? Well, <laughs> that's one way of looking at it. You seem to have become accustomed to tragedy in your life. I have. It's true. Are you making a point? I sure am. <laughs> what and is here's it? my point. <clears throat> Will the Desiree tragedy be of a magnitude equal to that? As of the tragedy that you caused when you killed our father? You see, Max, a dead woman can collect no inheritance. Nice. <laughs> I really like your line of thinking, Sal. So and do I, never... since I heard all of it. <laughs> uh, what, yes. what, you, what did you hear? Me and Sal were just talking about a movie we saw. Yeah. That was a crazy yeah, movie. Yeah, great plot. Killed, killed that dead. Exactly. Killed them? Yeah. Ah, yeah. Married at uh, that. Yeah. Fiction. All fiction. A fictional movie with the names of all of the same people that live in this town? I don't think so, bros. <laughs> Let's talk. Let me tell you something, sister. Don't bro me if you don't know me. <laughs> <Okay>? Touche. <laughs> My name is Max. And uh, what you heard was merely a coincidence, right, Sal? Coincidence, yeah. Speculation. Speculation. Well, say I were to speculate that I think you're full of shit. <laughs> what would happen then? <laughs> let's cut to, because I am saying you're full of shit, so let's just see what does happen now. Don't be threatening, Max. So wait, are you, is, am I to act like you're saying maybe what if I'm full of shit? You, you no, I, I originally posed that and then I said, no, you are full of shit. <laughs> now I'd like to see what you have to say. She made it pretty clear you're full of shit. So we're not hypothetical anymore, is what we're saying. No, I'm not. I, I think uh, I think the shits hit the fan, and we gotta lay it all out. Yeah. Well, uh, okay. Well, can I see this? This is wow. Um, <laughs> I was gonna try to bullshit you, but I see you. You can't bullshit an Amazonian butterfly, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I see that. I was saying that to Sal earlier. Remember he we was talking? just saying that. If there's one person you can't bullshit. Amazon. Amazonian butterfly. Butterfly, yes. yeah. Exactly. Well. <laughs> all right, let's say hypothetically you heard me and me and Sal. I did. Talking about something. All right. Yeah. Let's say you heard something. And it was our business, and you shouldn't have heard it, but you're, you're, you're nosy and you're, you know, look a little crazy with the eyes there. This is all true. What can we do to uh, make you keep quiet? What do we have to do? to make you keep quiet. Keep quiet about the fact that you want to kill Desiree? Hey, 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 with, with gangsters, we talk in code. Oh, okay. Let's try it again. Can you keep quiet about the thing? The thing, about the woman. I'm gonna keep it on the down low, see? <laughs> you sound retarded when you talk like that. <laughs> All right, here's the thing, boys. You wanna keep me quiet? Very much so, like, like, yeah. I'll tell you what I want. Say it. Money. A shitload of money. <laughs> Let me be clear. A ridiculous amount of money. I have some money. I want more. And by more, I mean a lot more. Whatever so figure you have in your head, I want double that and then put a 
whatever carrots okay, on in front of that means greater than the correct right? direction. Okay, here's the shitload, right. and then here's the ridiculous amount. Right. And then Higher. here's an obscene amount. Higher. And then here's a entirely pornographic amount. And then here's like, uh, 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 I don't know, the national debt. <laughs> I want the national debt. She wants the national debt. But in reverse, because I want it, you know, not a debt. I want. I don't want you to take that much money away from me. I want you to give it to me. She's Is that gangster code enough for you? <laughs> we worked very hard to, to, to build our empire, me and Sal. We, you, we, we've done, we put in work, all right? We, we went to school, we all studied. Work. Sal's killed a few people. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, sorry. I'm what happened to the code? I know, I'm, I'm just, God she wants damn to rob it. me of the money. And all you did I guess was we're just saying everything in front of her, huh? Yeah, all you did was overhear something. You don't just, uh, Sal, give me a hundred bucks. A uh, hundred bucks? hundred bucks? Let me think about it. Fuck you! <laughs> I'm on national debt in reverse. I was clear about that. <laughs> we're going to have to uh, get back to you on that. She wants the national debt. debt. A lot of money. A lot of money. Shitload of money. Mm. Fucking lot of money. Mm. Otherwise, I could just tell everyone you want to kill Desiree. All right. Well, I didn't think about the money. I think, and I'd have a choice. Yeah, we're gonna pay her. Oh, they'll pay me. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm packing. A lot of bubble wrap. We don't have anything but bubble wrap these days. I know, Mom, because every place we live, you get us kicked out of. That's all I've done is move around and move around and move around. Hey, I didn't get us kicked out of this place, okay? Sylvia Sterling is just is a bitch. She doesn't care anything about me and you, nothing. That's your argument. You think you had a hard day and you got a drink in your hand. This is the only way I know how to get through the day. Don't give me that. You want to hear about my day? I have a crazy bitch who's pregnant with my baby, and I'm in love. Why did you? We need to have a serious conversation right now, and you need okay, to tell right. me the truth. You need to put this down. You need to look me in the face, and you need to tell me right now. Who was my father? Who was my father? Don't make me tell you. That's the whole purpose of this conversation. <laughs> Who is my real father? Vincent Sterling. Don't hate me. Do not hate me. And do not leave me. Do you know what it feels like to fantasize about fucking your own sister? <laughs> I'm sorry. I planned it and everything. She's my own blood. And you couldn't tell me everybody in this town knew who my father was and wouldn't tell me. I wanted to protect you. You know what, Mom? Here, enjoy. Because that's all you have left. Don't. Your son is leaving Scandal Crest. Don't you leave me. Every man I have ever been with has left me. And you can't be the next one. You know what? You know what? Maximilian asked me to marry him tonight. But I'm too fucking scared to say yes because every man has left me. You cannot be another one. I'll try to get off it again. I promise you, I will try again. But my life is going just down the toilet right now. That was a great speech. <laughs> but I'm leaving Scandal Crest and I'm never coming back. That's me exiting the scene. 
Up to you. Well, you got us, you kind of got us in a pickle over here. Fine. That's what it's going to take to make your eyes not do that thing and to not tell people. We'll give you a shitload of money. That's what we said, a shitload, right? A shitload. National debt in reverse. National debt. Clear. <laughs> yes. National debt in reverse. Sal will bring the papers by later on today. Maybe you should go plan uh, how you're going to spend all that money. Yes, congratulations on, on, on having heirs. She's going to be rich because she heard something. Oh, thanks. Bye. Yeah. <laughs> so, what happened then? Nice girl in reverse. <laughs> See, this is what I'm saying, Sal. This is why back, I told you we should learn Cherokee and we could speak to each other in Cherokee, and these kind of things would never would have happened. Oh, uh, yeah, the Indian code thing. Uh, sure, you, yeah. that a stone? And that would you, uh, I'm not any good with that stuff, you know. Sorry, Max. I'm sorry. She sorry. got us. I can't be mad at you, Sal. You've done so much for me. You, you're, like, you're like a brother, you know? Like a brother who I pay, and I'm a little higher than, but <laughs> is like my brother, but not equal to me. You know what I mean? But Coming like from you, that uh, yeah, that almost means a lot. Yeah, no, I love right. you like a brother that almost I don't would. have. Right. Yeah, sure. And what I'm saying is, you've done a lot for me, Sal. Mm -hmm. I have. I have. Like a brother, really. And I guess I'm gonna have to ask you to do one more thing. And uh, what might that be? Your specialty, Sal. You you uh, you seem to love the carnage. You like. Uh, you don't mind getting your hands dirty? No, I don't. Well, I want you to open up a briefcase and put in national debt money. I'm just fucking with you. Don't do that at all. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't sound like you. Of course. I'm going to give someone money. <laughs> Since when, right? right. I, I, Since I wouldn't when? pay you if I didn't have to. You know, come on. <laughs> I, 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 I know. That's right. <laughs> but I want you to go to that girl with the box, you know, make it look like you're going to pay. I want her to be happy. I want her to be real happy, uh -huh. excited, and victorious feeling. Sure. Yeah, yeah. She pulled one over on us, huh? Yeah, like she won. <laughs> yeah, ah. she got you, Max. Yeah. And then I want you to kill her. I want her to die with a big old smile on her face. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, Max, <laughs> I mean, you know I'll do almost anything great. for you. Great, so it's done. Uh, you're going to go and kill her. No, 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 listen. Wait, 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 wait. Listen, nice. listen. So, no, hey, My hey. man, Sal. The killer Wait. from Manila. Wait, yeah, but my, uh, my brother from another mother. Uh, yeah, exactly. father, Sal. But, but, but listen, she's pregnant. She's pregnant. She's pregnant? Yeah, she's pregnant. Then I'll pay you double. <laughs> What? Darling, I loved your father. He was tall, he was handsome, he was everything every girl dreamed of. I would never hurt a hair on his head. We had our problems like every couple, but he was very wealthy and it was really nice. Do you know what he meant to me? I have a feeling you're going to tell me. I am going to tell you. Okay. He was my father. He was my dad. Yes. And I want to know the truth. I don't know the truth. His car went over the bridge, and, and we found the car, but we never found his body. <laughs> I'd like to believe that. Please believe it. I'm trying. Please. Okay. I'm trying. <laughs> There's a problem, though, Mom. Yes. Oh, oh my God. Let's. Sylvia. Yes, darling. I believe you're my husband. <laughs> Is that right, son? I am. I'm Vincent Sterling. Oh! And I'm back. Oh! <laughs> <laughs>